Welcome back to episode 10 of our New Zealand Miller Foray Paint Along and we're launching here into this special flower. Now the name of this has escaped me and I really cannot pronounce these New Zealand names. I'm sorry, New Zealanders. <laughs> the Maori names are really difficult. Um, they're spelt differently to our English language. So I'm just going to put the name there on the screen and I'm sure there's a heap of Maori and Kiwi people right now going, why can't you say that? But anyway, this flower reminds me of our Australian bottle brush. It's got this fuzzy kind of blossom that comes out, bright red and orange with little dots of pollen um, along the top. And you'll see when we go to paint the yellow pollen how we do that. So at the moment, I'm just painting the triangular shapes. And again, I'm actually painting the negative spaces at this point. So I'm painting the behind the triangle spaces and then I'm going to jump in here. So that first colour was the halo pink gold and now we're going in, I think, with the crimson. Beautiful. Look at that crimson. So again, starting at a point and dragging that brush down to get that little triangular shape. So with a bit of practice, you'll you'll become quite good at that as well. Really using the shape of the brush to your best advantage. In with the emerald. And I'm just painting half of each leaf. I've got obviously plans for the other half. Doesn't the green next to the red look terrific? Complementary colours on our colour wheel. Nature knows best, doesn't it? That stem goes right down onto the back of the bird. It extends way beyond its circle, that one. And then what other colour have I grabbed? I'm mixing a bit of the emerald and the indigo, trying to get a slightly darker green. Yeah, it is a little bit darker, just a little bit of variation there. Now I've lost that centre line. Oh, there we go, look at that punching in with a bit more indigo. I've lost the centre line between down the centre of the of those leaves. Now I could come back with the black later or even with my Sharpie if that bothered me. Now that's, that's a bit strange. I've got that leaf, the stem going up through the middle of that leaf. That's okay. It looks fine. I only just noticed that now. I didn't notice it before. <laughs> so I decided to paint the second flower the same. But this time I'm doing the crimson first. Just to show you, it can be done either way. And here's our halo pink gold again. It comes out a lovely um, golden orangey pink <laughs> colour. Filling in those little shapes. And 
actually yes I think that is the halo pink gold whereas the first one I used the copper so they are slightly different so both of them have the crimson but then one's got copper and one's got the halo pink gold as the contrast color but then I've grabbed a cotton bud or a q-tip and this is how we make neat dots to represent the top of these flowers there you go little dots with the q-tip or we call it a cotton bud i don't know why it's called a q-tip or a cotton bud for that matter you know the thing that thing lovely look at that Now, what colour to surround that with? Hmm, I think I can remember. Oh, we're diving in with the pearl blue. Lovely. It's a beautiful colour. Just bumping the brush around those dots so that they are effectively getting that little bit of black halo again. Finding all the little gaps. Painting right up to the edge of that circle. I think I can see a little bit of, oh no, there it is, I got it. <laughs> it's funny watching yourself paint again. Yeah, that's lovely, I like that. I think that's all for today. Oh no, little leaf there. Gosh, we almost missed that one. That's it. See you tomorrow.